So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which we're going to finally start and get our hands dirty with some aggregation framework operators. Now, first things first, how do you actually call a query with aggregation in it? So the way you do it is you get the collection and you call dot aggregate on it with the operators or rather I should say the pipeline because that's how it is defined here, right? So the pipeline is an array, just like I said, an array of operators here which are going to act one by one so in this video we're going to start with a very simple operator not really simple but you know something you should know that is the group operator so the group operator actually groups the things together right so just like you can think of it would reduce your documents um, into smaller number of documents usually right it, it may increase the number of documents it's not a not a really a fact or something i should rather say but it will group them on a certain certain particular um you know field or something so what we are doing here in this group operator is that first thing is that it starts with a dollar sign and then you write group then it expects you to pass in an object which is going to contain an id field right so an id field is going to be something you want to group it by right so it could be a field in the document itself or it could be a constant value if it is a constant value you're just gonna get a single document out of it because you group by a constant that means all of the values would be considered same in that particular in every document of the collection and then you can pass in all of your fields you want right in this case i'm passing in all ages right and all ages consist of another operator called sum which sums the age now first things first let me just go ahead and show you what the collection actually consists of so i'm just going to execute this query right here and you can see that this is our document so you see a simple single document consists of username languages and age so what we are essentially trying to do in this pipeline operator is we are trying to sum up all these ages 21 plus 18 plus 35 39 whatever right so let's just go ahead and do that i'm going to run the query and let's see so here we are we see that we have an id of random id and all ages is 135 which is exactly the sum right now we can have a bunch of queries more queries here so i can say minimum age and what we would do here is i'm just going to pass in age as it is you see this is the name of the field which you're passing and the dollar sign actually donates that pick this up from the document right it's not a constant value it's a variable value which you need to pick up from the document similarly i can get get the minimum age of all the documents by using min and probably maximum age as well by using the max right and once we do this and run this you're going to see we get all ages as 135 minimum is 18 maximum is 39 i can also get the average age just like avg and yeah that should not not be any problem so it's 27 right so yeah that's one way to group stuff another way to group stuff is by actually using a variable in here so I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to go ahead and show you the records one more time so that we can see a field we can group by. So I'm going to group it by age this time because we have a bit of duplicate ages, right? So you can see we have two 18s and two 39s. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this time you should group it by age and id is special because this is how mongo groups it by and what i want to do is now i want to have and let's say i want to get the sum of all the ages in that particular group so i'm gonna say um not really sum. let's say average age just like we did before so i'm gonna say average and i'm gonna write age only again and if i run this so you can see that obviously in a single group we're gonna have uh, a group grouped by age we're gonna have 
the average as the same as well because either they are same or they are um you know either they are same or they are um same so it averages out to same so if we sum it instead then we can get a different picture um if i run it with this so we get sum like this and instead of like writing age we can get we can write one here instead so it will add one every time it finds that particular document so if i run this now you're going to see that we get actually the count of all the ages so if i change this to count so basically here what we got is the count of every particular age document right so it's not really um very difficult to do that with collections as well but uh, you know you get the idea how you can do it with the aggregation framework so yeah that's that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and i will see more in the next one